Breaking news tonight, the fire marshal is trying to figure out what started a fire at an apartment building in Elizabeth. That fire forced dozens of people out of their homes. Yeah, some of them still waiting to learn where they're going to go from here. Amy Watt has talked to several people who were evacuated, including a couple who lost their pet. Amy. Kim, the Elizabeth Township Deputy Fire Chief says the fire started in the second floor unit of Virginia Manor Apartments. And right now, the fire marshal is still on scene trying to figure out how this fire started. The couple who lives in that unit with their two dogs were not home when the flames broke out. The husband tells me he and his wife were out fishing. He says when he opened the door to their apartment when they got home, flames shot out at them. He says their one dog ran out, but the other one was nowhere to be found. That dog died in the fire. He says his wife is having a really hard time with the loss. Meantime, dozens of people were standing around the building earlier watching firefighters put out the flames. The deputy fire chief says everyone was already out of the building when they got to the scene, and he says his team managed the, to stop the fire from spreading. One person who lives here told me it's sad, but he's grateful to still be alive. It's unfortunate. Um, uh, I do know somebody who was on the top. Um, they don't have renter's insurance, so they're going to try to figure out what to do now. Um, I'm just lucky that I'm good. God is taking care of me, so yeah. Now, the fire chief says it is not clear when everyone will be allowed back inside. The Red Cross is here helping families who will need a place to stay. The spokesperson for the Red Cross confirms they are assisting residents from six units. Now, we are going to continue to monitor the situation. We will let you know when we learn more from the Allegheny County Fire Marshal and how this fire started. Reporting live in Allegheny Town, or I should say Elizabeth Township, Amy Wattis, KDK News.